Welcome back, everybody, and we continue our conversation about ballroom attire today with men's attire. As you walk into the store, you must turn right in order to get to the men's department. What do our handsome guys wear for the competition and other events? I assume that you already got yourself situated with the shoes. The next thing you buy is a pair of pants. Yes, they're different from the regular pair of pants. The crush sits very high up. That allows you to move around much more freer, gives you a broader um, range of motion. It does um, allow you to do the splits if you want to do the splits and kicks and stuff like that because it is done out of stretchable double D. The next article of clothes you will be investing in is going to be a shirt. It can be either white or black and it can come with a zipper or buttons or snaps. I personally love it to be on a zipper because it is much less maintenance than buttons or snaps. However, if you like the look, by all means, go for it. What, what is the difference between a regular shirt and a dense shirt? And it is, first of all, a fabric. The fabric needs to be stretchable that allows you to move freer. And the most important feature that you're going to like is that it is wrinkle free. You don't need to iron it and you can wash it in a, on a gentle cycle in your washing machine. The next feature of a dance shirt is, ready for it? Built-in bloomers. When was the last time you wore onesies? Now it's the time to reinvent it. Uh, the bloom, uh, the shirts can come either with the shirts or with the brief. And that is an awesome feature because it allows your shirt to stay put as you are dancing, preserving your polished look. Another item that will take you to your first dance events, whether or not it's competition or the showcase, is a vest. It looks exactly like a jacket but it does not have the sleeves. The way we take care of these uh, vests is exactly the same as the jacket. Dry cleaning is the best. So we just went through what is going to take you to your first events. And it's got your shoes, your pants, your shirt, and a vest. Thank you guys for participating and uh, posting your questions. I got the question about the difference between standard and smooth costumes. Now, once you've graduated your bronze level, um, depending on the competition and level of dancing you're dancing, we will go in a little bit more into those details on our YouTube channel. Um, but assuming that you've graduated already and it's time for the suit or tails. The difference is huge between ballroom and standard. So let me take you to my two mannequins. Smooth versus standard. Let's start with the shoes. For smooth, you get leather shoes for standard pattern. Recently, we have been having a lot of fashion wave where Smooth Shoe had a lot of different inserts like patent inserts or new buck inserts, but generally, this is your basic, you're looking at the basic uh, Smooth Shoe. Your suits differ drastically. For this Smooth, you got the jacket and the pants. Your pants are sitting at the waistline and your jacket really resembles your regular suit jacket, but it's not. The build is entirely different. 
and it's made in such a way that you are capable of raising your hands and the shoulders and your color does not dry it up. Again, we will go into those little details in our YouTube channel. Please, if you're interested in it, um, I hope you're going to tune in. Your shirt has the regular color and it's good if you're wearing a tie you can actually match the pocket square as you can see guys i actually put a lot of contrasting materials in the display just so that you could see on the video different um articles of clothes and they don't blend in generally uh you're not going to be that colorful uh, maybe the tie for the guys uh for the smooth and the little pocket square to match your lady for your standard it's not a suit, it's tails. Tails are also different. Um, again, uh, we will be talking about the different types of tails in our later edition, but the tails are much shorter in the front, they're longer on the back. The pants are sitting at your chest level and your shirt is different. It has a tuxedo short color and a bow tie. A lot of people right now stopped wearing their waistcoats, therefore we kind of removed it from our display, but some still like to wear the waistcoat. We're gonna go into those little details also a little bit later in our YouTube channel. But the main difference is the tie versus bow tie, the regular color shirt, versus tuxedo shirt, regular jacket versus tuxedo jacket with the tail, the pants that are sitting at the waistline versus the pants that are sitting under the chest, your leather shoes versus patent shoes. I did get the question here whether or not there is a difference between the Latin shirt and the smooth shirt. For the first events, you can wear the same. Um, maybe you would like to get a couple of the same just to keep yourself fresh from one event to another. But essentially, for the beginning, it really does not make any difference uh, as long as you're going to have a presentable clean look, you're going to have the color just like that and you will be able to put the tie for your smooth and take the tie off for your lighting section or reading section. We will go a little bit more or I should say a lot more into the details of the difference between the ballroom and Latin shirt and the pants for that matter uh, on our YouTube channel. So please um, follow us and I hope to see you all there. Bye.